important are festivals in developing the culture and people's love of music? It's really important because if they didn't exist then people would be encouraged to do things and, and you know, I mean I, I certainly I've been involved in all my life and so I, I wouldn't be standing here so it's really important. And people in Thurrock, I mean, things like Edinburgh Festival, started in 1947, yeah. so here in 2011. Yeah. This thing in Thurrock has got to be able to nurture and grow, hasn't it? Absolutely. I mean, it, everything start, has to start somewhere, and I think that you just need people to back it and to, to believe in it, and, uh, and the people that are dynamic who are running it as well, which is great, which I think it's got. So, so I think, you know, it's just, it's just encouragement and money. Indeed. You're mentioning nurture and grow. You talked about Hasselbrook, 1971. What, yeah. What were your first early loves of music? Purely classical actually. Um, my mum was a big fan of Beethoven. Um, I played the piano from the age of six, which I didn't actually like. I didn't enjoy playing the piano from six, but for some reason at nine something clicked for me. And so by the time I went to um, uh, Hassenbrook, in fact my English teacher, Mr. Keith Houghton, who was a wonderful guy who's just retired three or four years ago, he realised I was obsessed with music. I was just totally obsessed. And in fact he said in English he couldn't get me to do anything other than write about music, which is um, sort of like just been my life. So, so yeah, that's how it happened. So that's 1971. So 2011, the first years in Hasselbrook and other schools, what's your advice to them about developing their skills and confidence in music? Well, it's the confidence is a very key word actually because I think it's not to be put off by people because there's always people that are going to be sort of discouraging and especially, you know, especially because it's in some ways, for, certainly from coming from here, that I was seen as a bit of a freak at certain points, you know, like, are we involved in music? Although I have to say, my school friends, particularly at Hasselbrook, believed in me, but you have to find the people that like, back you and so, so, but it's really, you've got to be determined, you can't, you know, just easily give up in a way, but confidence is a, a very fragile thing, so you, you have to almost be sensitive and you have to be thick-skinned, so you have to get on with it. And for yourself, what's in the pipeline? Um, I've got ballets actually, I'm, 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 I'm just weird because I've never written for ballet and I've done a ballet for the Royal Opera House next year and one for this year, the end of this year, so, um, and I'm working a lot with the LSO um, in the future, so that's my next main thing. Anna Nicole Smith got a lot of, a lot of controversy. Have yeah. you thought about developing News of the World, the musical? <laughs> Maybe, you never know. There's been a lot of, uh, it'll be rather a long opera, I think. There's a lot of, a lot of stories. Uh, yeah, it's a good idea, actually. You never know. Mark, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you.